Alrighty, I've made it to the 360 yield booth. I'm here with Talon Souter, and he spent countless hours working on uh, the company's newest innovation, which you can see behind him, uh, 360 Rain. Uh, tell me a little bit about what's going on here and why farmers see this as a useful product. Yes, we're very excited to introduce the Rain system to the public. This is the first time we've shown the system to the public. We're running a live demo here at FPS. And what we are really looking for as we watch the market change and grow and we watch farmers attempt to do more and more bushels per acre it's like what is going to make the difference that we're going to take a serious jump in yield and that's why we're excited about rain we're excited about the ability to bring water to every acre of your field not just a center surface from a center pit. we're excited about the ability to put nitrogen into our water stream inject 28 or 32 we're excited about the ability to put manure through it too help guys lower their manure pits and also bring that nutrient into a growing crop um, that's just a list of some of the main points of what we're excited about we're really excited too to be in the autonomy world of where you can irrigate your crop 24 7 no operator get on your smartphone tell it to start tell it to stop whatever you want it to do wherever you want it to go those are some of the things we're really excited about is how can we take labor and add none of that to your farm but bring extreme value in raising your crop getting rid of your manure and managing your overall system so that's a high level of what we're looking forward to doing with rain in the public and we're thrilled to be showing you guys here for the first time awesome so i see it running behind you just uh briefly talk me through what it's doing the machine is moving forward there's there's pipe coming out the back. Yeah, so real high level, we got a three wheel machine, three wheel drive, that we can handle mud and terrain and those type of things. We start out from a point in the field, we run down what we call a 50 yard line, right through the middle of the field. When we get to the end, we turn out and we water on our way out and then we turn back in and we pick up the hose and water on the way back and then we go the other direction. And after that, we step back 60 feet and we start over. So what you're seeing here is a 50 yard line that runs this direction and the machine is turning into cornrows. We just have a few small ones set up back here, but it's like it's going to turn and go down to the end of the field and come back. So part of the key of how you don't knock down corn is you put hose out the back through a dispenser, small black unit right there in the center with two little tires. Those tires are turning and putting hose out and laying it right on the ground. And then when we come back, we pick it straight up. We don't ever want to drag hose. Dragging hose knocks over corn. And so the goal is basically the reel is running as we're driving and we're dropping out hose. We're going to go about 10 more feet till we get to the end of our FPS lot. And then it will turn around and it will automatically pick that hose up and go all the way back to the well. So the main systems that you see is the boom, obviously, delivering water. The hose on the ground, that hose is basically providing the water stream that's allowing us to irrigate. And then you have the reel, which is holding the hose, and the dispenser, which is managing it. And then we have our power system. Off to the side here, we have a fuel tank and a diesel engine. Small diesel engine in the 20 horsepower neighborhood. We are carrying about 300 gallons of fuel normally. Here at the show, we're running on electric batteries just for noise, but normally in the field, we run about 300 gallons of fuel. We're looking at refilling that about every 25 days. We're efficient enough that you only have to bring out your fuel trailer about every 25 days, put a little more in and keep going. Um, so you have that, that diesel generator is, or that diesel engine is spinning a DC alternator and that's charging a battery bank and all of our drives are DC electric. That way you don't have hydraulic hoses to replace, you have none of the frustrations of that. It's just a DC system, something goes wrong, it's a crimps on a wire and you fix it, put it back together. It's also very efficient. We're trying to get in that neighborhood where we're looking at like sub $15 an acre worth of fuel cost. Um, other systems go way higher than that, but we're looking below that, somewhere in the $10 an acre of fuel that we're going to burn per, per acre per year to increase your crop yield in the 50 bushel neighborhood on a good year. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for this overview. It's great to see it in person. Um, I really noticed it's exactly like you're saying, setting down that hose. It's not dragging there's no drag lines here in the in the gravel it's just the the tire tracks from this three-wheeled machine so thank you so much for your time you're welcome